In this video we look at the second implementation of our first non-repeated method and this one will be using a hash data structure but before we do that I just wanted to clarify a few points in our first implementation. Now the reason why we, we use a character object as our return type and even in this case we use a character instead of a char is to allow us to return a null in case we were not able to find a first non-repeated character. So if this for loop basically goes over every single character in a string and is not able to find one character having a count of one, then this means there is no first non-repeated character. Every single character in a string is repeated. Then what we do is we return a null. If our return type was a char, we, weren't a we wouldn't be able to return a null. So this is how we indicate to the user who called the method that there is no first non-repeated character. So we use a character object and this is why just before returning right here we convert our char to a character object. And uh, again these were the two for loops from our algorithm. This was the one constructing the data structure and this one the one perform this was the one performing a search. And we had this array data structure of 128 cells and the reason why we chose 128 is because we are assuming the string has characters limited to the ASCII character set and the ASCII characters are basically 128 characters and so every single cell will correspond to one of those 128 characters so going from 1 to 127 and uh, so this is just a few points that I wanted to mention now let's go to our hash implementation. Now again we see right here this is the the whole method and this is the first for loop and this is the second for loop. So it's very clear this is basically implementing our uh, algorithm. The first thing we do is that we initialize this hash table. So we're going to call it hash and the key will be a character and the value will be an integer. So this will be the count and this will be basically what we're going to be using to look up with a big O of 1 lookup. So this is basically just specifying our hash. And let's just look at the for the first for loop. The first for loop, what is it doing? It's constructing the hash housing the character counts. So what is it doing? It's basically looking at every every single character in the string and it's transforming it into a character object and by the way in the hash table we use a character object and an integer object we don't use the primitive type we can't actually use it's not allowed you're not allowed to use the primitive types char and int in a hash table so we're going to be dealing with character and integer so what I'm doing right here is I'm converting that character right here into a character object and then what I am doing is reading so there's this get method, this is important, and there is also the put method. We're going to be looking at these two uh, important methods. The get method of the hash basically gets the value of that for that particular key. And that key is the character. It extracts its integer. If the integer turns out to be null, then this means that we haven't really initialized that particular character. So it's zero. So what we do is we give it a value of one. So we put in that particular position of that character an integer with a value of 1. Otherwise if it's not null, that is it has a value already, then we simply increment it. So essentially this, the effect of this is to count. Count for every single character we're going to have the proper count for it by performing these increments. So if we already had a value for that specific character then what we're going to do is we're going to call hash put for that specific character we're going to be putting a new integer which will take the value of the previous integer that we read off right here plus one so basically this is the increment now the second for loop once we built our hash having character going to integer then what we're going to do for the second step is essentially look for a character within the string having an integer value equal to 1. So for every single character we're first going to convert it to a character object read off from the hash its integer value and then see if integer is equal to 1. If it's equal to 1 then we will simply return uh, that character. If it's not equal to 1 then we will continue doing this until we find one whose who's, uh, uh, integer count is equal to 1 meaning it's the first non-repeated character. Otherwise if we can't find one we return null. And this is the main method.